Fouch the third, got a big push there off of four. He hey guys, so change of plans this weekend. We're supposed to be at Atomic in Ohio. Mother Nature had other plans, so we are rolling in here to Utica Rome Speedway for the Short Track Super Nationals. So I'm excited. Um, BP3 is racing. BP3 is racing. I think it's his first debut like ever in the great state of New York. Um, Billy is practicing his super dirt car, not super dirt week car for the Palmers. He's practicing with the 101 tonight because he's going to race Shaq Hilton's car tomorrow. And then Mike, we figured we're dragging him out. He's going to be practicing too. So just rolling in. Let's see what kind of fun we can get into. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Hey. We got BP3. Got the 101. We're going to show you the beauty over there. The Palmer car. And then I got Mike. Lance and Jacob. Venice, Venice, Venice. Alright, it's your it's your first time in the great state of New York racing, right? Yeah. Have we checked out the racetrack? How are we feeling?
buddy. I, I sat past time in Norma. You did? Yeah. You're the man, brother. Okay. Enjoy hot laps. Well, practice, essentially. Enjoy practice. Ta-ta. Have fun. Don't get dirty. Sorry, guys, but I'm refusing to put cameras on all the cars. Oh, wait. is out there in the 84. 84 Junior, the Coots Gravel race car. First. <laughs> oh. There was two and a half inches of fuel. I checked it. Okay. So I don't know what happened. He said he lost fuel, but it's fun. Well, that's why we're here for hot laps. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So, Mike and Billy are out there, and the little guy is starting second. I don't know how many laps, but he's starting second. Just gotta, gotta go. He's excited. You excited? Yes. Six laps. Six, six <laughs> laps. Alright, thank you. Very excited. Jersey. Go split screen for those of you at home on Flow Racing. You see Billy Pouch Jr. on the right side of your screen. On the left side is the quickest car here in this group. Here it's been 440 to the floor. Wow. I could turn. I don't know about you. I'm like, whoa! I could turn, um, but I had Hoosiers on the back. I see that. Ooh, American racers here, make it pretty tight. I've, I've seen places a lot worse. Those are tight. This is Alongside of him, Billy Pouch the third out of Frenchtown, New Jersey. Six laps the distance in our one and only heat race for the junior slingshots. Brody Janza quickly races out to the lead. Parker Fowler wrestles the runner-up spot away. Oh, Siafi and Jax Welch get together. 
for fifth and sixth. We'll keep it rolling. We will continue on. Brody Janzik trying to pull away a little bit. Parker Fowler getting some pressure here from Billy Pouch the third for the runner-up spot as they come down the home straightaway. Two lap in the books. EP3 on the back bumper of Parker Fowler. Fowler a regular here at the Utica Rome Speedway. This place a little bit smaller than the racetracks Billy Pouch the third is used to. Down at uh, the Action Track USA, he gets a lot of laps, and he's got one of the co-champions on his back bumper, Preston Trouchold, as we come to two laps to go. Brody Janzik continuing to set the pace, trying to celebrate his birthday with a junior slingshot win here at Utica Rome. Fowler gets wide down here in three and four. Bill Couch gets a nose underneath of him here, white flag. Preston Trouchold is right there as well. A three-car battle here for the runner-up spot. Checkered flag will fall. It is Brody Janzik with the easy heat race win. Parker Fowler will get second. Billy Pouch the third gets third. Did good hold getting there, getting down to the bottom there after after the eleven got by. On the on the start, you probably didn't expect him to go that soon. The leader, yeah. Yeah, that was a weird start. Yep. He like went faster, then went slower, then got the start. Yeah. But you'll be ready the next yeah. time. Went good. Yeah. Started on the outside, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Lights are on though. The 101 of Billy Pouch Jr. is slow. Off of turn number four, the 101 of Pouch Jr. will limp his way into the pit area. Billy just brought out the caution. Do you want to see Daddy? Yeah. Goodbye. Ta -ta. Oh, he's got a little bit of luck. So we didn't get to have one last year, so sort of rehash some of those cool moments in series history. A 
18, 318. Mike Mahaney to the top of the charts now. He will come to the white flag. Mahaney is the quickest car, and nobody else in this group is in the top five. Gary Terrance is eighth quickest. Keith Flack is ninth. But Mike Mahaney, Gary Terrance goes to fourth quickest, 18, 4, 5, 1. But the 35 of Mike Mahaney in 18, 3, 1, 8. As long as the 35 clears the scales, Mike Mahaney will be locked into the BA Custom Headers redraw tomorrow. Well, actually, we still got way for uh, BP3. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> but God, is it tough in that one turn? Oh my God! But it's fine. Stay on the bottom. Huh. Keep it smooth. It, I mean, car's good. It, I just when I I get to like rocking, it doesn't want to stop. No, just just if I'm in the middle, like the the bottom and the top has got bite. Then. I'm just trying to keep the thing wound up. The track's bitey. It's fast. What was the time? It was. Yeah, it's pretty quick around here. Yeah, it's still fast. It yeah. Was for the first half lap. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Glad we got that done. Well, pack yep. it up. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't going out for the next session. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what happened? We for a Yeah. Tell me about your heat race. Yeah. No, no. Oh, you didn't? Tell yeah, about I it. did it. Um, the heat race was good. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I just started on the top in the top horrible here. Top sucked and uh, I got passed. So I, I was third. I kept trying to get uh, the guy in second coming out of four. I, I always I tried to set him up and get him, but he was. He was, he was actually lucky, he was loose. So every time he came out of four, he was like this, so I couldn't pass him. But, so, he, but if, he, if he wasn't loose, I, would, I think I could've gotten him, but. So where do we start I now? Think, I think, uh, we're start, so we're starting third. I think third is actually better than second in the heat. Yeah. Cause I think I'm gonna get second on the start. Maybe first. Hello, Jacob. Want some mud? Gonna show me his pull ups. Whoa! What a dunk! I thought, I think it was. Because this year we were like, all we gotta do is not run out of gas and we're gonna win. That's right. Yeah, and then yeah, this year the tire come apart. Yes, that's right. Look but we were leading that. again. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what else are you pulling out of there? 
to make one. He said, you got a wrench? And I was like, what size? <laughs> Third starting spot will be the 15 of Billy Pouch the third in a 15 laps the distance. Junior slingshots, final feature of the season for the juniors here at Unicorome. Green flag is out, we're underway. Good start for Parker Fowler, tried to get a nose ahead of Brody Janzik for the lead. Now instead, BP3 will get a run under him for second and here comes Preston Trouchold as well. Trouchel nearly had a run trying to make it three wide. Oh, they battle here for second. And everybody makes it off of turn number two okay. Billy Pouch the third, got a big push there off of four. He will maintain second. Preston Trouchel continuing to try and get by Parker Fowler. Fowler will hold him off for now, but he slips off the back stretch. Trouchel pulls up to his back bumper again. Billy Pouch the third is reeling him in. Just four laps complete. It's been a long time since Billy Pouch Jr. has been at Utica Road. Billy Pouch III has never been here. Trying to pick up the junior slingshot win and spoil the birthday boy Brody Janzik's day. Preston Trouchel though to the inside here on Parker Fowler for third. Good battle for third and a battle brewing here for the top spot. As we work our way closer to the halfway point, six laps complete. Couple of car lengths separate your lead duo. Preston Trouchild still trying to work by Parker Fowler here for the third spot. And we got one sideways on the back straightaway, 23 of Siafi. But he's back on the racetrack. Still going, but slow. How will the leaders navigate? Brody and Billy will both make their way around into turn number one, no problems there. And the 23 now off the lead lap. We are into the second half of this race. That was lap number eight completed around the lap car. So now six laps to go. Brody Janzik looking for his first junior slingshot win. BP3 trying to pick one up here at Utica Rome. He did have one earlier this season in Action Track USA. Five laps to go for your leader, Brody Janzik. Brody Janzik trying to celebrate his birthday in victory lane. Billy Pouch the third trying to show dad how it's done here at the home of heroes. Coming up four laps to go, a good battle. Brody Janzik, a second generation driver. I don't know what generation you'd consider BP3. Fourth, third. We've got three laps to go. Pouch the third, got a little sideways off of four. Lap car of Jax Welch in front of your leaders. It is fourth generation, Jeff says now. I was right, take that. Two laps to go, Janzik to the inside of Welch. Oh, they get together. Janzik trying to keep it up. We'll go nearly three wide. BP3 missed the opportunity there. Now gets a little sideways and Janzik might be home free. Into three and four though. Janzik again gets crossed up with Welch. White flag is out one more time around. And a one and two. Janzik's clear of the lap car. I think he's home free now. Down the back straightaway and into turn number three for the final time. Dad's won a ton here at Utica Rome. Brody's got his first. Billy Pouch the third will get second. Parker Fowler third. Awesome job. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you did awesome. Good job. Good job, man. I'll still <laughs> buy your breakfast. Hey, I'll get your breakfast. We're all buying your breakfast. We're all buying your breakfast. Now I'm proud of you. Really gaining on the leader end, too. 
I thought you had them. You did a great job, kid. Awesome, buddy. The feature was good. Um, yeah, it's tracking. What? I said you move around a lot, so you're gonna have to, like, you're gonna have to follow. Whoa, them. everywhere. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Tell us about that feature. Um, the feature is good. I started third and third, and then second. Um, I almost had the leader actually. Um, I tried to get him on the bottom. He when he got up too high, he just came right back down. Tried to get him in the middle. I had I had him in the middle, but a lot of traffic uh, got me, and um, then uh, a lot of traffic got him. They got got into each other. You uh, didn't have one caution. I know. And they got into each other in on the front stretch, and I almost had them on the top, so I went too high. And then they started to get away from me, so I had to get back. And then I kept trying to get them, but it didn't work, so I finished out second. Woohoo! You did awesome! Yay! Yeah. Did you have fun? Did you like the racetrack? Yeah. All right, good. You're going to get it. He was he was moved up in the slime there, and you caught him, and then he moved down right when you right caught, when you him. caught him. If you would have caught him a lot yeah. earlier, it would have been your race. Yep. But that I didn't realize that's Brody's first win. No, yeah. yeah. And it's his birthday. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. so that's pretty cool. My guess says he's on the phone with Pop Up. Got his payout. He's on the phone. Jeez. He's like eight going on twenty-eight right there. Literally. Oh my. I can't say, you know what I mean? I thought we were better. I still like to feel the nose a little bit better, but I don't know if that'll hurt us off. How's that working out for you? Yeah, too good. I think you're a little knotted up. <laughs> I am. Oh, I can't even get my sleep. <laughs> oh, cheater, cheater. <laughs> okay, so while this is happening, I guess, we're going out for one more set, George. Again? One, yeah. We're gonna make, you're gonna make go faster. It's freezing. Well, what the heck are you doing? Do not hit the top. <laughs> you wanna help? Okay, these guys are saying to do one extra round. Okay, bye. Have fun. See you tomorrow. That's it. You're out. Yep. <laughs> okay, kids, we're bailing out. We're breaking out! Everyone turns around like, oh, okay, bye. bye. We'll see you in a few. See you in a few. Um, we haven't had any din din yet. So we decided we're gonna try and find a restaurant that still serves food. 
At least it's a Friday. At least it's Friday. Mike, would you like to hold the phone while I find our car and give him your two cents? Hold my phone. Fast time. Hold the phone. Fast time. Uh, what do you what do you want me to talk about? Oh, well. BP3 did a great job in his feature. He had, <laughs> he had a great car, and he was reeling in Brody. Yeah. Brody got his first win on his birthday. That oh, was awesome. That was and uh, we had a good test, and we were able to lock it in for the redraw tomorrow. So I wasn't I wasn't really sure I wanted to Even do this, come. but I'm glad we did cuz now we're yeah. locked in and we can Literally this was kind of relax like this for the morning, qualifying this portion morning. of tomorrow and just focus yeah. on the feature. Do we still and have that to? that turned out well. Um last time I was locked into a race was uh, Super Dirt Week last year. Yeah. And we, we, it turned out really well because we were able to just work, just, just focus on the setup on the car for the feature mm -hmm. through the night and not worry about the qualifying. Which is nice. Uh, it kind of changes your mindset and, and everything. And so hopefully that pays off tomorrow. Yeah. So, um, is this awesome the end job. of a video or is this just half of the video? Uh, I think this is going to be the end, edit, post, tomorrow, whole new show. Okay, so yeah. come back tomorrow for we got like a, some a, more features. A two, a two for one, but technically like... Go, 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 I'm go, holy going, smokes. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. She's pulling out, people coming. <laughs> Trust me, would you? Yeah, I just told you to put your seatbelt on, you're fine. Uh, it's on. It's on. Alright guys, thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Give BP3, BP3 a shout out in the comments. Come back tomorrow. We got Jim racing during the daytime. We got a Saturday matinee. And then we got Billy and Mike tomorrow evening. So be there for B Square. Sign up for Patreon and the email newsletter. Yeah. For all the updates and information to keep up on everything Dirt Track Untold. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Guys. See ya.